One of the biggest corporate deals of the year may not involve any U.S. company, but it could have a big effect in America. The European parent company of airplane maker Airbus and British defense contractor BAE are still in early merger talks. What would create the world's largest aerospace and defense company? This would be just the latest international deal, though, facing international scrutiny from regulators. One of those is John Leibovitz, chairman of the Federal Trade Commission. He joins us from New York tonight. Uh, chairman, I know you're not going to comment on any specifics of any potential deal. Boeing has called for a rigorous examination if this happens. Generally speaking, how does your agency approach these kind of international reviews? What we uh, what we try to do uh, and what the antitrust division also tries to do, depending on who reviews a, a merger, is, is to look at it uh, to see whether uh, the deal may uh, 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 may affect, uh, uh, adversely affect competition. And uh, if, it, if it does, uh, we generally try to block the merger. And if it doesn't, we generally try to let it go through. Uh, there is a, and it's as important uh, to let deals go through uh, when that's appropriate under our statute as it is uh, to challenge deals that might be anti-competitive. Usually, Chairman, it's about defining the market. And so when you have these cross-border, big global deals, how do you define the market? Do you look exclusively on the impact on American companies and consumers? I mean, at a fundamental level, what you try to do is look to see whether it will raise prices or reduce co uh, raise prices or reduce choices for American consumers. If it has an effect on uh, United States commerce, commerce in the United States, uh, and if that effect is adverse, uh, then following the statute that Congress wrote for us, uh, we're supposed to challenge the deal. Chairman, we have seen European regulations later stopped U.S. companies from merging a decade ago. GE and Honeywell were stopped because of the EU. Just this year, it was Deutsche Bors, the exchange, and the NYSE that had to break apart their planned merger. Is there competition among international regulators? Well, I think among uh, sort of international regulators or international antitrust enforcement agencies, uh, there's much more comedy than competition. Uh, so much commerce is global now. Um, and the, the laws uh, within the European Union and the United States have, have, have converged considerably over the last few decades that, for the most part, um, we usually come to the same conclusions on the same mergers. Uh, now, there might be some differences when the market shares are different. Uh, and the economic effects are different in, uh, in, in different geographic markets like the EU and the United States. One investigation that has been admitted to by the target of that investigation, Google, continues to be under review by your agency, uh, whether or not it's harmed competition. Google has been talking with those European regulators over competition. How close is your investigation working with the Europeans when it comes to the Google situation? Um, uh, companies... Uh, that are being scrutinized by any antitrust agency, we feel particularly, uh, we feel particularly strongly at the FTC, um, you know, don't deserve any particular outcome, but they deserve uh, a, a expeditious resolution of, uh, of the investigations. And we do talk to our European counterparts from time to time. Again, uh, we, think that's a, we think that's a good thing involving any investigations in which we each uh, are involved in, when it involves the same company. Chairman, we'll leave it there. It's uh, John Leibovitz along with us. He's the chairman of the Federal Trade Commission.